need to speak to Maxwell. Go ahead and activate the control panel there. for the hotel. This is just a disaster. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. Sounds already, like trouble. We can discuss your findings. That of the crime scene again? Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me to I shall return to my workstation and allow you to take things from here. Anything I can lug for you? Someone wasn't a fan of Robo Brain. Not this one. Please, if I may, That's if what I could just you. have your attention. Sick. I'm sorry for shouting. But the detective is wrong. Shall begin the investigation henceforth. Please return to your rooms until the detective has examined the crime scene and had a chance to come speak with you. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. If you're ready, we can discuss your friend. You are free to question the residents. But their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I will avoid accusations. Is this... blood? Looks like the brain enclosure was... smashed. Hello again, detective. 
protect you. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? That's not blood around the body. It's red paint. Mr. Santiago would definitely have red paint. But surely he wouldn't have... Would he? This is just terrible, detective. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died, and then who had the means and motive to kill him. Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me. found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Maybe later. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. the hell they programmed us to feel pain. Hey. Go on. Need something? Your thoughts? I've been told the Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore. But they sure bring in the business. Your thoughts? Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. You only have to look around to see where that got us. 
Just wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. Honestly, I don't think I could ask for a better partner or a better friend. Your thoughts? Traveling alone just doesn't hold the same allure it used to. Nothing else for now. Got it.
This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. Number 1978. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself. This way. Tell you, what does this one say to you? It's the war. Bombs from every direction. No up or down. The world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. We must ascend. And what about this one? And please be honest. For art without honesty is just politics. It's a metaphor. A young creature grappling with ideas it doesn't possess the capability to understand. Intriguing. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I had not considered it. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I take the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? Ah, my fellow connoisseur of the art. Here to see my latest work. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gildo probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. I found red paint at the crime scene. No, actually. Ezra borrowed my last gun, and now I can't find it. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, Detective. The others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can with the time that I have. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why not? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this joie de vivre within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? Someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty, not that brute actor. Maybe later. Good. I hope my paintings are able to open your mind to new possibilities. or something.
progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault Tech won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold paint in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. stuck in one of these things again, it will be too soon.
and uh, yeah, Mr. Whiskers died last month. This is Cluffy, remember? Oh, of course. Silly me. Just let me have a look at the neural interface matrix, and I'm sure I can clear that. Uh... No, no, it's not that. I've just caught another cold. Probably something the Guardian when they sent Pearl out. Oh, God. Not this again. Last month you were convinced you had the measles. You're not a doctor. What would you even know about it? Besides, I think it may be malaria. First of all, I am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside the suit. It's not physically possible. I know when I'm getting sick, Bert. Now why don't you just wander off and play in your lab? Mr. Scruffy and I are going to rewrite the will. So he will get everything when I die because horrible Bert didn't believe me. Oh, God, Juliana. Whatever. I'm going to the lab. Did you need something? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Oh, well... That's not really my field of expertise, but I'm sure there are probably some clues at the crime scene. Oh, was there something else, Detective? I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I tried to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, Detective? Tell me about yourself. Oh, uh, well, I'm a scientist. Uh, you've probably met my wife, Juliana, already. Uh, not sure what else to say, really. Oh, was there something else, a detective? Tell me about your research. Well, I was one of the leads on the team that created the first robo-brains, the precursors uh, to our model. Uh, most people don't find it all that interesting, and I'd rather not bore you. Was there something else, detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. Oh, wonderful. Uh, no one else here really wants to talk about it. Functionally, this model is more or less the same as the previous versions I worked on, I've, but without the neural inhibitor and the reconditioning. The voice modulator uh, seems to have some minor issues interfacing with the neural matrix, uh, which can add some moodiness. Uh, but that's easily solved with regular tune-ups. Oh, was there something else, Detective? Robo-brains have a voice modulator. Tell me about that. Uh, that's what allows us to recreate our original voices. Uh, they can mimic any normal human voice, actually. I've speculated for some time that the issues we had with our uh, uh, recruited subjects uh, is due to the brain attempting to preserve a sense of self. Maintaining our original voices helps reinforce the neural network, uh, sort of like uh, playing music for an Alzheimer patient. Oh, was there something else, Detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. I'm afraid that's really all I should say about it. I mean, it is still classified, but I wanted to help with the investigation. Was there something else, Detective? Maybe later. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. Tell me we don't need to find something in here. Because that may take a while. Hello, Detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He 
wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling from you and the other investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Maybe later. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. anyone actually felt like they were at the beach in here? Yeah, me neither. Else. Did you have any 
thoughts about the murder. Well, it is a bit strange how obsessed Santiago has been with the murder. I mean, he's always been a bit obsessive, though. He did a whole series of paintings of me, hundreds, said I was his muse. It was flattering for a while, but the man is a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? I found Keith's baseball bat at the scene of the murder. Any thoughts on how it got there? I don't know, Detective. I can't really imagine Keith killing Ezra. Did you need something else? I've gotten the impression you've had an affair with Santiago. Look, I love Keith, I do. But sometimes he just can't give me the attention I need. A girl gets lonely, Detective. It only lasted a few dozen years. The man's a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? Tell me about yourself. My favorite subject. Simply put, darling, I'm the greatest actress in the world. When this international scuffle blows over, I shall return to the silver screen and lead the world to a new golden age of cinema. Did you need something else? What were you and Keith talking about when I came in? Oh, that? We were rehearsing! Gotta stay sharp if we're going to rebuild Hollywood. But Keith always gets flustered when he's upset. Did you need something else? Maybe later. I'll be around, languishing from your inattention. Catching the murderer, detective. Anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me.
Still someone alive under all that gear? I'm afraid not, Detective. We're really at a loss, which is why I was sent to find you. Looking for a gift to bring back to that special someone? What have you got? Keepsakes, hunting equipment, and a variety of small personal items. Need to restock on hunting or fishing supplies? Let's see what you got. Let me know if you find something you like. up in Vault 114. There are really over a hundred of these things? Hmm. Who killed the lights?
Sir of the Art. Get to see my latest work. Never mind. How many folks you think could fit in one of these? I found a love letter to Ezra in your room. Know anything about it? I... I should have never written it. I just couldn't take it any longer. Tell me about you and Ezra. Oh, God, I don't know. When we first met him, he was just so mysterious and exciting. It seemed like he had been everywhere and done everything. I convinced Gilda that we should invest in the hotel so I could stay close to him. But he never seemed to realize how I felt. I mean, we spent time together. Going hunting, having drinks, talking about his plans for the hotel. He must have known, but he never said anything. Do you have any idea what it's like to pine for someone for 200 years, Detective? Tell me about yourself. We went over this before, Detective. There's no motive. Maybe you could give me a reason it couldn't be you. I... I... I would never harm Ezra, Detective. I was... in love with him. Tell me about... We him. went over this... Maybe... I... I... 
Never mind. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. Protect and serve. My fellow connoisseur of the art. You have to see my latest war. Never mind. Anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. I don't have the strength to do such a thing. Give it up. I know your secret, Juliana. Or should I say, Ezra? Well, detective, that's quite the claim. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. Had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Why did you kill Juliana? I hadn't planned on it, but Juliana figured out what I was doing and had to be dealt with swiftly. I thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my escape. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting rich? Or die defending some outdated ideals? Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. Good. Hey, toss 
chase anything you can't haul my way. I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word. I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened when you confronted him? He attacked me, but it's over now. Your residents are safe. There you are, Detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you.